you're sipping apple martinis Skinny girls in pink bikinis Riding in they Lamborghinis I'm in the cab, but I wanna go to Hello, um, I'm Tyrell Clayton And I'm sitting here with Booster Rango And Keisha Lai. And I'm sitting here to give everyone an insight On the lives of a transgender and a transsexual individual Alright, I want to ask you a few questions so everybody can, you know, get a gist of how it is to be you two. Alright. To start off, I want to know, do y'all know the difference between being transgender and transsexual? Well, personally, I don't consider myself either. Um, I am a male who's androgynous, who embraces feminine, female and feminine qualities about himself or herself. Gender is, isn't really specific to me. You can call me a she or you can call me a he. However, I do not take the role of any type of female. Um, I'm a man, and I would be respected and treated as a woman. I'm just prettier than my but. <laughs> well, I just consider myself as a girl, but the correct term would be, well, not transgender, but cross-dresser because I'm in process of becoming transgender. Okay, so after your process, you want to be considered transsexual? Um, well, I will be a transsexual because of the process, but I would rather be con a girl. A girl. <laughs> a girl. Yeah. Right. Okay. And okay. And myself, like, just just so we have an understanding, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm not a cross dresser because I'm not in transition to becoming a transsexual. I'm comfortable with my masculine body and the parts that I'm blessed with. Um, it's just I keep it up. I keep myself pretty. I call it being a boy girl. Or for lack of better words, a nigga bitch. <laughs> so your nails and the heels, that's not changing up the gender roles at all. And see, that goes on the strength that society puts on clothing and apparel. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, little boys are supposed to bag their clothes. Yeah. And little <laughs> girls are supposed to wear heels and pumps. I'm challenging that. I'm challenging people's mindsets. And that's why I'm comfortable dressing this way, because I make people think. And I'm an entertainer, so it's kind of working both ways in my favor. Right. You know, people look like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so as a child, did you dress as a female? No, you dress like your parents tell you to dress. Okay. <laughs> So at what age did you begin to like come out and like let everyone know you were homosexual? I like Keisha got right on this one. Um, well, I always knew, like ever since I was little, um I, I just kinda like put it in the back of my head because like my dad was like really, really against it, like really against it. And my mama, she had friends like that, but she didn't really say too much, but she was against it because she was kind of like my daddy and my parents. And me coming out, I came out to my parents when I was in 11th grade and like to my friends and just people that knew me like three years before. Okay. How did you come out? Um, well, my story's a little bit different because I was adopted at the age of seven. Um, and my mother, who I do consider my mother, you know, mm -hmm. that's the only mother figure I know, got married when I was about um, 11, 12. And I just considered him my father because there was no other father figure present. Mm -hmm. um, and what happened was I was sending letters, physical letters. You know, I wasn't that technologically advanced. I wasn't using email or anything like that at that age. <laughs> I was sending letters. Um, and the letters were, you know, detailed. We'll just say it like that. Promiscuous. Mm -hmm. in a sense, exploring curiosity in a sexual fashion. Um, and I threw them away after I burned his car down for cheating on me seven times. Oh yes, I am a nigga. <laughs> um, excuse me, people. But however, um, I threw the letters away one day. Mm -hmm. um, it was the day before I was going to a summer camp. Um, my mom said, what are you throwing away? I said, letters. So like any mother does, she goes in the trash and she reads them. She said, I was looking for where the he's and the she's were. It wasn't no she's. <laughs> I said, okay, mother, I'm gay. So it was about the age of 13. Okay. Then. So when you were a freshman in high school or uh, middle school, eighth grade? Yeah, eighth grade, ninth grade. But my friends, everybody knew. Mm -hmm. But it's just the fact of me admitting it to them and giving them satisfaction. That's what homosexuals are scared of. And around what age were you? Uh, I would say like 16, 17, maybe 17, I think. Okay, so around junior, senior, high school? Yeah, I was a junior and like I was working at Forever 21 and one day I was at the mall and I was on break going to get something to eat and my dad was at the mall and my two sisters and like my youngest sister spoke but my dad like had this look like because I had kind of started like started dressing mm -hmm. and carrying myself like 
I just got comfortable with who I was. And he just gave me like a real like disturbing look. So it just like, I don't know. It made me feel like some type of way. So. And it had to be like something. It had to have affected you because you did feel some type of way. Yeah. You're still talking about it now, you know? Yeah. So yeah. I just like, I don't know. I kind of, I guess you'd say broke down. Mm-hmm. And like, that I was just like hysterical at work. So they just let me off. And I called my mama and like in the parking lot. That's when I called my mama. Okay, and when y'all came out, were you comfortable, like totally comfortable with it, or were you, did you um, think you were confused? Never confused. Um, see, homosexuals and those who choose to explore their sexual promiscuity and, you know, attracts and things of that nature are people who are not afraid of ex- exploration and breaking what you are told to do. You know what I'm saying? I personally feel like everybody has some form of curiosity, it's just whether that you explore, you know? How can you say you're completely straight if you have not thought about being gay? Yeah. <laughs> Either it disgusts you and you can't think about it, but you thought about being gay at one point in time and you oh. formulate some type of opinion about it, whether that be negative or positive. <clears throat> so I think there is some form of curiosity. So I was comfortable with myself. You know what I'm saying? I was comfortable saying I'm I know what I'm attracted to. And who say I'm feeling attracted to girls? <laughs> so I have a question for Keisha. So do guys come up to you and do they like know off that? No. <laughs> no. Some do. Like it just depends on the area and like the setting. The setting, because if it's like a more like a city or like a, if it's more, I guess you can say, gay surrounding. Mm-hmm. Then some people know because they have gay friends or girlfriends that have gay friends. And gay people know. And <laughs> other gay, yeah, cunt knows cunt, you know. Yeah. But like most of the time, no. Unless I always let them know or like they'll just they'll look or like somebody will say something or I'll do something they'll or they'll like start to away. whispering or they'll and they'll just have like this little wonder look. in their mind like is mm-hmm. is it she or he or okay. and I just eventually tell them have you ever encountered any like major hate crimes or <laughs> <laughs> discrimination just because you're homosexual, transgender, or transsexual? Yeah. Um, I was um, um, that's you're gonna get that. If you choose to be in this lifestyle, you're just that's gonna come. With and the you lifestyle. have to have the skin enough to deal with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And break it down, and not let it defeat you. You talk about it with your friends and stuff, but that's venting. But at the end of the day, you still wearing the hard hair. <laughs> or you choose to, you know, conform and be, um, appear like everybody else. Yeah. Alright. So, what are your career goals? Myself, personally, I am an entertainer, performing artist, singer, vocalist, MC. Um, I have a radio show. I have a show on YouTube that's being very, you know, popular as of right now. Um, that's, that's my aspirations. Anything in the entertainment industry I want to do, I'm capable of doing, but I prefer to be on that stage. <laughs> and have you thought what what are your career goals? Um, about the same. I younger well, younger and now, I always wanted to be like a singer and a dancer, but choosing this lifestyle, it's not really accepted. Yeah, cause I was about to ask like how that against how do you the think world. this is gonna affect that. Like nowadays it's kinda like people are opening up more but yeah. it's still People, it's still not accepted and people still have, you know, their opinions about it. What I think needs to happen, mm-hmm. but as of right now, just to get back to the question before I go into, you know, my philosophy and things of that nature. Um, it's hard. You know what I'm saying? And you know you have everybody that wants to drop a mixtape and things of that nature. And they're forgetting the business aspect of just posting your stuff online. And dealing with business people, it's a certain way that you have to appear. You know what I'm saying? So when I walk up in there with a tuxedo dress on, they're looking at me like, Okay, we don't really want to invest any money in you or take the time to direct you to where you need to go to get to the next level. And then when you get to that level, you got people like radio personnel, fashion mm-hmm. designers, people that you have to go through, managers, agents. Even if you want to book something at a particular club that's predominantly heterosexual, you have to go through somebody. All of those people have an opinion. And you have to manipulate the situation in your favor. Let them get to know you. Light it up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, this, I want to take it back. Do you believe that when you when you first figured out that you were homosexual, do you believe it was something that was learned or do you believe you were born that way? Um yeah. boost the rain go check it. Man, the copy, I ain't got no walkie talkie, but I got a good smelly. Bring my phone when you get ready, bring my bell patty love belly. If you think you can catch me, cause I'm taking off, I'm ready, and the coppers can't get me. Play piano in a second. Excuse me, what happened?
happen. I'm crazy as an android, better than a villain. Bowser, Super Mario, you get the shroom. And I'll never be tardy upon the first day of school. But every other day I struggle. I'm guarded like a turtle with the paper to the pencil. My picture, a stencil. Every struggle. other day I struggle. I am guarded as a turtle. With 